at the National Gymnasium, swimming events take the center of the stage at the Tokyo Olympic Games. In the men's 100-meter freestyle, the lane to watch is number five from the foreground. That's the U.S. ace, 18-year-old Don Schallander, and he's on his way to a new Olympic record. The crowd seems to sense that a new mark is being set. Close on Don's threshing heels is Robert McGregor of Great Britain, as Schallander goes across in 53 and 4 tenths seconds. The blonde Yale freshman chalks up another gold medal for the U.S., as Uncle Sam continues to hold a commanding Olympic lead. In the women's 100-meter freestyle, it's Dawn Fraser of Australia who strokes her way to Olympic history. She's in lane four and out to win this event as she did in 1956 and 1960. The 27-year-old Australian is shaving seconds off her old Olympic marks as she streaks towards the finish with two American girls close behind. She swims a flawless race. Against her one minute and two seconds she swam in 1956, Miss Fraser becomes the first woman to swim this Olympic distance in less than a minute. Her 59 and 9 tenths seconds brings her a third Olympic medal. When they kick off in the men's 200 meter backstroke, three American swimmers are heading for a clean sweep. Led by Jed Graff in lane four, they set a blistering pace. Making the turn, Jed seems to gain a full length as he starts down the pool towards a new Olympic and world record. Destined for second place is Gary Dilley with Bob Bennett set to cop the third slot. Graff began swimming when he was 10, and now 12 years later, he will touch the finish line in two minutes, 10 and 3 tenths seconds, to write a new page in the record book. The New Jersey speedster, along with Dilly and Bennett, add three more medals to Uncle Sam's breast, as the stars and stripes are raised victoriously in Tokyo.